For GateWorld.net, I'm David Reed, and I'm here with Mr. Dan Payne, right there. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you doing, sir? Good, thank you. How are you? You have done, I'm very good. You've done so much work on uh, Stargate SG-1 and Atlantis that we could sit here hours talking about it, but I'm not going <laughs> to bore you with that. Um, what was the first character that you played on the show? Uh, Dan Shea uh, pulled me out of Snow Queen and made me a stunt Jaffa. That was okay. the very first role. It went unnoticed because it was uh, it was a stunt thing. Right. And I just ran, got shot, fell, did the flip the roo and fell down. And and then I met some directors through that, and uh, the relationship grew, and I moved on through the rest of them. What what season was it that you first started? Wow. Five. Five. Okay. I would guess. Okay. Maybe one is. Because I know I've been through six, seven, and eight. I think that this the, okay. the stunt might have been in five. Fans know better than me. <laughs> You've played numerous characters on the show, from Atlantis SFs to Jaffa soldiers to Call Warriors to Ray. Back again, you said the Uber Ray from Satita. Uh, which have you enjoyed the most, and which the least? Uh, the most, just recently, was the the Uber or Big uh, Wraith on on Atlantis with the Satita episode. Just to clarify, this is the one that was in command of the Hive ship that went down and. And yes, and off the floor with Roman. Yes. Okay. okay. Until this brutal dismissal by missile. Yes, exactly. Look at that tagline right there. <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> Where do they come? Uh, so that was fantastic. Just the makeup, the transformation, to be able to see my face and have had that prosthetic done so well that I, anything I did transferred to the really? prosthetic, and I just felt like like I looked in the mirror and I had a complete out-of-body experience in a way because it was so different from who I That's what they say. know who I am and uh, and to be able to jump so deeply into a character because they can see your face and you can still move which is the little bit of an advantage to the super soldier and right. for least there is no least I, I really? if I'm on set I'm having a good time good for the Wraith uh, this uber Wraith that you that t you told the convention but we'd like you to tell it here how early was your call time about 4.30 in the morning 4.30 in the morning yeah and how long are you in the makeup chair? About four hours. Four hours from start to finish. So 8.30 set call. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're pushing too because they, the Todd Masters of the, who does the prosthetics, same as the rest of the Stargate crew, doesn't want to just be okay with something. Very meticulous, very perfectionist almost. So they're pushing, they're asking, we need him, we need him, we need him. And he's still doing some veins and stuff. That's what, that's what makes it, for, as an actor, that's what makes you transform. Is because they put so much detail when you look at something completely different. You don't see seams, you don't see right. makeup. It's right. awesome. 